What, what, what channel are we on, Agora? We're on the Agora. On the Agora. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my promotions. I didn't even do my promotions yet. Yeah, but. all I did was share it to my page. But. All right. I'm going to do promotions. There is a number scrolling across the sc- uh, top of the screen right now. The name of this episode, by the way, is uh, uh, I Don't Have Your Pants. It's called Radio Agora Live Call-In Show. It's called I Don't Have Your Pants. I want to do these at least once a week and just have people come in and talk. And... That's cool. But yeah, you can call the number above, 603-782-0920. We should write a jingle for that. We could write a jingle. Um, the Mick Police might trademark it. You think so? Yeah. Uh, Shulman might trademark it. Shulman? Yeah. Who the fuck is Shulman? He's the guy that did uh, A Long Side Night or whatever the frick it's called. That movie? I have no idea what that is. It's a it's a libertarian movie. <laughs> in the libertarian movie, there's this scene where they're in the mall. The mall scene is really what it's all about. If you see the mall scene, you know everything you need to know about this movie. Is that like the mall scene in... Um... It's like a nine-minute scene where they're in the move in the in the in in basically the agorist mall, and uh, Wait. one of the things that they they have for sale is a nuclear bomb, of course. I mean, really, because you know that's what people would do. They would just take a nuclear bomb to a mall and like, hey, hey, let me sell this nuclear bomb at the mall. <laughs> yeah, just any old chap will buy it at the. Why would like, they... what? Isn't that a great Liberty Outreach movie though? It's like, listen, folks, don't be afraid of of not having a stake. By yeah. the way, we're going to sell nuclear weapons in malls. We're going to sell nukes <laughs> in malls and probably sell children in malls, too. That's great. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Great, great. Come on. Sign up for Liberty. But what if, but what if they consent, though? Right. What if, yeah, exactly. What if they consent? Who are you? Who are you to stop a child from consenting? Well, I'd probably, yeah, I don't even want to get into it. That's what, that's the one thing I don't like about ANCAPs is they just basically. Well, I can't say all ANCAPs. I, it's, it's oh, you can't because I know ANCAPs that are cool, that are decent, that I get along with just fine. There are, uh, but there are certain. You know what? The ones that I get along that are cool, that are just fine. Those are the ones that uh, they don't. Really... They're not defining their life by the nap. And they're not. Well, they're also not really claiming to be an ANCAP as much anymore. Well, no, actually, I, I I have a couple friends that are you know pretty pretty stalwart and caps, but uh, not. Oh, okay. David, I do. David's got it down though. He goes, no, the children will make the McNukes. Well, children with those little hands can get right in there. They can get and, in there and make that. Yeah. If, yeah. If you got someone and, with big bumbly hands like me, you're gonna set off the chain reaction early, and then you're and have and the nuke. cool thing is because they don't have. Uh, they're not cognizant. They're not. Uh, they're not a moral agent. The fact that they're going to be killed by the exposure to the plutonium or whatever the heck you're using, hey, that's not a problem. Oh yeah, they're easily replaceable. You're not violating the nap. You're not violating the nap. You're letting them sleep. Right. As Just long as you're not violating the nap, that's all that matters. Yeah. 